lovelies, I have a clothing haul for you and I guess you would call this a summer clothing haul because I also have swimsuits to show you or swimwear. I haven't had a proper just chill out in the sun type holiday probably since I was 18. So yeah, I'm really excited and I've been buying a few bits over the last two or three months and I thought I would do a haul. So shall we start with swimwear because it isn't often at all that I mention swimwear in my videos. So I got myself some new swimwear just because the last time I bought some bikinis I was about 18 and they're just quite frilly and young and I just wanted some more slightly sophisticated grown up ones, ones that I could mix and match. First bottoms are from a brand called Wolf and Whistle. They look absolutely tiny, they're not this tiny when they're on. White and blue striped bottoms and they got a bit of ruching at the back so they are slightly higher up on the bum than most sort of bog standard bottoms would be. But I thought these would go really nice with this top that I also got on ASOS but it's from Motel. This bright tomato red, I guess you'd call it, colour. The colour is just amazing. Look at that colour. It looks so bright on camera. Oh my word, it's not this bright in real life. But it is such a nice warm red and I think red looks really good with um, blonde hair and blue eyes and fair skin. At the back, it's really, really secure. It has such a retro feel about it and I think it goes really nice with the stripy bottoms, even though they're not even by the same brand or the same colour, but I think it goes really nice with the stripy bottoms. But this bikini top is just so amazing. You know when you put things on and you just think, this makes me feel really good? It's one of these bikini tops. It feels so secure as well and it fits really well. Something else that I thought that will go well with this top are these black ASOS own brand high-waisted, trying to get them the right way around, high-waisted bikini bottoms. I wanted some high-waisted bikini bottoms because we plan on going to a water park so when I'm going down slides and things like that I know nothing's gonna fall off or spill out and I thought because this is quite retro this would go really nice with the high-waisted bottoms which again are quite retro so they go really nice together even though they're completely different fabrics. So another couple of things I got were some bando bikini tops because they're so easy and I think they look really nice and you don't get silly tan lines with them. There's a motorbike outside my house. Shh. So I picked up a couple of these from ASOS. This one is in this lovely floral print, I can't remember what they called it. I'll link everything in the down bar like I do with all my clothing hauls. I love this pattern, it does up with a clip and it's really secure, it's not flimsy like I find with a lot of high street stores. And then I got this one which is fairly similar but slightly different and the sizing is a bit different. As you can see it's got the same print but it's more of a, like a sepia tone one and the colours are slightly different. It's got the same clasp that does up at the back, whereas this one is twisted at the front. This one is tied together with another bit of fabric. This does come up a bit smaller because I originally got this in a six as well and it barely covered my boobs. So I had to get this one in a size eight instead. I would say get your normal clothing size in this top but go one up in this top. But yeah, I, I really love these and I feel like as long as my boobs don't grow, which they probably won't because I'm 22 and let's face it, I think they've done all their growing. These should last me ages and I just think these look really nice hair bottoms that I got were these and these are from Gap. These were about £30 so they were quite pricey. I originally bought a couple of bikinis from there but the tops didn't fit very well so I kept the bottoms but I took the top back. So these are just plain navy blue bottoms. They tie up at the side which is brilliant because then you can tie them up to how high or loose you need to have them. I also wanted to quickly show you these swimsuits that I got a couple of days before I went on holiday. Yes, they are from ASOS. This one is just like the top that I got from Motel but it's the swimsuit version. I just love the colour and I just love the fit. And and then I got this one which is also from Motel but it's completely different. It's in this nice baby blue colour with this daisy print and I never thought I'd wear a swimsuit in this kind of cut but I really like it. It's really girly and cute and I don't know, I like it, I'm, I'm looking forward to wearing it. So moving on to some clothing items, a couple more bits that I got from ASOS because like I said ASOS is my favourite place to shop. I have wanted a skinny scarf for so long and now the whole 60s, 70s trend has become a big thing this year. I feel like it's a lot easier to find stuff that I would usually like and it would be really hard to find, but now it's really easy. So I found this gray and white skinny scarf, just this mottled print, and then it has these tassels on the end. These tassels were actually really long when I first got them. They were probably about like here, but I just, I just cut them because I didn't like how long they were. And I just pop this round and I either just have it over 
like this. I don't wear it with this dress, but it looks nice with plain garments, like plain dresses or plain cami tops or just t-shirts. And I either hang it over just like this or I double it round like this and just have it like that. Or I may even just tie it up at the bottom and sort of just have it, I know you can't see, but I'll have it at the bottom like that. I really like it, I think it's really doody, and it's not, I think it's not everyone's cup of tea, or oh, strangling myself, but I really like it, so I'm happy I finally found a skinny scarf. This is pretty basic, but I got a belt from ASOS, because I really like wearing belts with my jeans and then tucking in the top and just seeing a little bit of the belt. This one is reversible, so it's black on one side and then brown on the other, and all you do is you get this, so you can pull it apart and you just twist it, and then you just change the buckle to how you want the belt. Amazing! Another thing from ASOS, this is actually a new look but it was on ASOS. I guess you would call it a, a gypsy style top. Plasticated at the top so when you pop this top on you can either have it just up like that or you can actually pull it down over your shoulders. As you guys know I love a good keyhole and a good tassel. Um, so it's got the tassels here and it's semi cropped. So um, you can wear it with jeans and you'll just have a tiny bit of tummy showing, but it does cover your belly button up. I'm not really doing this in order of brands because we're going to skip to Topshop and then we're going to go back to ASOS in a second. But these are sandals from Topshop. I mentioned them in my May... <laughs> I mentioned them in my May favourites. I am in love with these. I've worn these almost every day and for me to find a shoe that I wear every day is a big deal because I wore my black ankle boots from office for almost every day for years and for a shoe to get in between that is a big deal. I found them really comfortable from day one, some people say they didn't but I did. All I would say is that for some reason with Topshop shoes for the last couple of years they come up really big so I'm a size 6 and I had to get these in a size 5. So back to ASOS, I needed some new jeans. I know for some people jeans aren't a summery thing but for me jeans are an all year round thing and I wear jeans in the summer a lot anyway. So I was kind of done with Topshop jeans. I swore by Topshop jeans for years but lately all you can get in there is ripped jeans and I liked ripped jeans. I sort of had a pair of ripped jeans that I wore quite a lot last year and the year before but that's all you can get in all their jeans. It's just ripped jeans at the moment and all the fabric is really soft and flimsy. I just wanted a pair of proper jean jeans and jeans that didn't have rips in them. So I looked on ASOS and I found these pull and bear jeans. I first, let's do them up actually. Um, so I first found um, a pull and bear store in Brighton. I'd never heard of them before. And I really like their stuff. And they're quite cheap as well. I'd say they were new look prices almost. I found these just sort of bog standard blue pair of jeans. The first couple of days I wore them, I just loved them. They were so comfortable. It's nice to have a pair of jeans that feel soft and stretchy and are comfortable but still feel quite thick and I feel like there's no chance of me getting like the whole camel toe situation that you may get with slightly thinner jeans for about three years I've been looking for a pair of dungarees and I've never been able to find a pair that I like and then a couple of months ago in Blue Water I finally found a pair of dungarees that I really like. I bought the same style from Topshop in Blue and I ended up returning them because I just didn't find myself wanting to wear them and I was just gravitating towards wearing the black ones. I think I got them in a size 8 and they're just the right amount of bagginess but they fit nicely at the same time. I just really really like these, I love the look of these and I've pretty much been wearing them with anything, they're just so comfortable and so versatile. So another thing I got in Gap is really basic, I've worn it in a video before, it's just this stripey tee in black and white stripes, it's just really simple and easy to whack on over jeans and it's really soft. Another couple of things I got from Topshop, and this is much more recently, this is this, I don't know what you call these, but I bought a top like this from ASOS about two and a half years ago. If you've been watching my videos for a couple of years, you'll know the one I'm talking about. It's in this style with the ties at the top of the t-shirt, so it's like a cami, but with little sleeves hanging off of them, so you just sort of have your shoulder showing like that. They're so popular at the moment. So I picked up this floral one from Topshop, and it's super summery, and that's kind of all I have to say about it. I really like it. The last thing is from Next. Three quarter length sleeves, which I've actually rolled up because I, I don't like sleeves ending bluntly so I've rolled them up. I love anything that's baggy and smocked and frilly and whatnot so it goes really baggy all the way down to the bottom where it's kind of got this peplum like a really mini peplum um, thing going on here and then at the end look at all these tassels look so many tassels <laughs> that's why I just had to get this because I just 
loved the tassels but it's such good quality and it's nice and cool for the summer it is slightly sheer so you have to just wear a vest um, or whatever you fancy underneath it. That's it for my haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, I'll link everything in the down bar. It should all still be available. And I will see you in my next video. Mwah.